All right, good morning, bright and way too early. We're headed to pick up the RV and I'm really excited. Okay, let's start at the beginning of this journey, how we even got to buying an RV. Who's we? My husband, Jay, myself, Jody, and our two-year-old daughter, Rowan. And this is our story. This is where we live amongst agricultural fields in the low desert. What you see here is a young wheat field just before it turns to seed. I know this because my husband is a farmer and this is a date palm farm where dates come from. And this is a marijuana farm where you guessed it, they grow marijuana. And let's just say it smelled exactly as expected. Just north of Palm Springs, the snow-capped mountains revealed themselves and followed us almost the entire way. There they are again. Okay, let's speed this up, shall we? So this was our first weekend looking at this particular dealership. We'd seen the model we liked online but we wanted to check it out in person and see if it worked for us. We're here. We're here. There it is, Rowan. So we're here, and I think this is the one we're gonna look at. So this one is nice, but it only has one room. But I just want to show you guys real quick. Look at what they do in these kitchens. I mean, it's like a home kitchen. Let me turn my camera around here. I think my first and second apartment had smaller kitchens than this and definitely smaller windows. I mean, and of course I did not have this really nice fridge, but yeah, this one won't work, but it was open. So I thought I would take a peek real quick. I'll show you guys the bedroom and the RV world is completely new to me, but I'm learning and I love taking tours of the different models. This particular one had the most windows and was the lightest and the brightest of all of them. All right, now let's check out the Sierra. This one is huge. So not what we're looking for, but I just want to take a look. <clears throat> oh, okay. Interesting. Got the whole kitchen and everything. And I'll just turn it around. You can kind of see where I came in. And then there's a second room. Oh my gosh, it's like a, oh wow. Oh yeah, this would be awesome. This would be awesome because it's got a loft above my head here with a little ladder that you climb up. And then a second bed right there. So. Rowan would have the time of her life in there. It is so cold in all these RVs, no joke. They're probably 45 degrees in here. It's freezing. It was really cold in California the last couple days. Okay, the restroom, shower and sink. And now I'm just gonna turn it around Oops, so you guys can see the bedroom. I really liked the light colored wood on this one. Oh, this, I, I definitely like how it's an ensuite. It's kind of a Jack and Jill door here. And then the cupboards and everything. But yeah, this one is way too big. Too big, so let's get out of here fast. So back to the one that we originally saw online. This is an open range. And I think it's a BH330. So I'll give you guys a full and complete tour, both inside and out, plus my full review next week. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell. It really helps the channel. Starting out new is incredibly difficult, so I appreciate all of the support. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the time we move to New Hampshire. So thank you for all that you guys do to support the channel. So here we are, here's a peek at the interior. It's really nice. 
Okay, I think we're gonna go and talk numbers, which is not very fun. I think this is the one. It just feels right. And it's actually shorter than we thought, which is what we wanted. It's 39 feet. We wanted to stay 40 and under, so just made it. Originally, it said online that it was 41 feet, but apparently, according to the door specs, it's 39, which every inch counts. <laughs> every inch counts for towing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> uh, even say it. Every inch counts for <clears throat> every inch counts for towing because it just makes it so much easier to pull, to drive, to maneuver, all of that stuff. So this might be our home, but I've learned not to get my hopes up until the ink is dry. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, Here so we'll now we're gonna have lunch at the Cheesecake Factory, which is really good. I love the Cheesecake Factory, but we said yes! We put a deposit on it. We're gonna see where we can get the best interest rate. I knew I had a good feeling. Whew, all that work. It's not done yet, but it looks like we are a lot closer, so yay! I just had to show you this cheesy, buttery, savory deliciousness pretzel bites and they were so yummy all right good morning bright and way too early we're headed to pick up the rv and i'm really excited but i had to wake up at five because we have to drive two and a half hours my stepson's got a track meet it's a big day so my brain is not on completely i'm a little grouchy but i am ready to go one thing i'm interested in is if the truck feels different as you're riding in it with an RV versus without an RV. So I'm like making a mental note of what it feels like because I've never ridden in a truck pulling anything. So this will be a new experience. To be honest, I'm a little nervous because I'm like, what if someone crashes into us because we're changing lanes and anything? But my husband, thankfully, is an excellent driver and has his CDL, commercial driver's license, so I trust him impeccably. And uh, yeah, but I am interested to see what it feels like. Indubitably? Indubitably. Indubitably. Strike that. What I should have said was I trust him implicitly. Impeccably? Not the right word. I love words, so <laughs> when possible, when necessary, I will correct myself. All right, my daughter wants some water now. Okay, so we're sitting here. Jay just ran in to do an errand at this little plaza real quick. The RV place is up the street. We're going to get the RV. Kind of weird in a way because it was just, it was sort of like a little dream that we had when we knew we were moving and I thought one day I'm like, hmm, why don't we get a travel trailer? And that way it's more interesting, more fun. We're gonna use it anyway. And then we have a place to stay instead of trying to hurry up and try to rent a house when we get to New Hampshire. It was just an idea. And then it grew and we did research and then it was like, can this happen? And can we afford it? Can this work? And we can, and it is, and now we're going. There is some news on the truck, sort of. I will tell you guys when I know more, fingers crossed, there may be something happening. Something's in the work. Bless you. Something's in the works, but I don't know how it's gonna go. We're thinking we're gonna put the house on the market, so that's a whole thing. We've got a carpet guy coming on Monday to replace some carpets. Bless you. My husband's painting the garage. I'll share some footage of that. Okay, so we're about to finish painting the garage. My husband actually started it, and now we're gonna finish it. I am ready. I'm wearing old clothes that I don't like. Let's paint. A lot to do. All right, so he's back in the car. We're headed to the RV spot. Let's go. All right, here we are, signing on the dotted line. We are officially RV owners. It was a lot of stress and difficult to find exactly what we wanted, but we did it. All right, it's ours. And we're learning how to do the trailer cup. But, I mean, she's a beaut. I'm so excited! While Jay and the RV tech were figuring everything out, 
Rowan and I decided to just hang out inside the RV. She definitely needed some wind down time. So <laughs> I'm chilling in the bed. The mattress is, you know, the mattress. It's like acceptable, but it's not bad. Then I decided to test out the speaker system and have a little dance party. I promise you guys, I can dance. I was just having a little fun. Feel free to roast me in the comments. But look, I was tired and I was entertaining my daughter. So yeah, enough of that. Can you tell I had fun with the editing software? <laughs> fun fact, I was actually dancing to a Selena Gomez song, but of course I can't use it here or YouTube will get mad at me. So enough of that, moving right along. I stepped outside and was really excited because Jay and the tech were testing everything out and moving the slides in for the very first time. This is all new to me and it's fascinating. It's in. <laughs> As my daughter said, it's in. And here are the levelers. All right, here we go. The hubs is driving the RV for the very first time. And I'm trying not to trip over this chain that's right here. There's the chain. All right, yay! Oh my god, it is huge! And now he's leaving without me. <laughs> it's huge! Thank you so much! Alright, the journey begins! Well, we made it. We made it home. And my husband did an amazing job driving. No issues. You can definitely feel the difference. There is a sense that it shifts a little bit differently, kind of front, back, front, back, front, back over bumps. But other than that, it was smooth sailing. So let me just show you. And Hubs is gonna park it at a place by his job. So we have a place to park it. But I can't believe she's here. Okay, so he's driving away, so I had to get a video of it because it's such a monumental moment. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. That's it? She's going to her temporary new home. I can't believe it. We bought an RV. The whole process was so stressful, but we did it. So come back next week for my complete tour and review. Until then, goodbye. Every inch counts. <laughs> I cracked myself up.